Hey YouTube, welcome back. My name is Raywin, and today we're playing some Feed the Beast on the NFG server. Yes, that is good. Now, let's get right to her. Last episode, we built the house. We got a whole bunch of stuff in here, got some lighting, got everything inside. Looks pretty good, minus bowling's IC2 stuff out there. So what we're going to have to do today is get ourselves prepped for the generation of gold. Now this here is all in the name of gold. This is what we're going to aim for. But we're also going to do this in the name of a mob farm. So what we're going to have to do is get ourselves ready for a mob farm. And there's a couple things we have to do for that. So first, let's actually get out of this. Open up this here. Go to mods. And scroll all the way down till we find mine factory reloaded. We'll, put, we'll bring this over here. Now, there's a whole bunch of really cool things over here. You've got like harvesters and ranchers and sewers and weather collectors. These are all things we're going to use eventually, so don't worry. Got a whole bunch of cool stuff here. But the one thing I want, or a couple things actually, is one of these here, a grinder. I want a grinder, so I need some tin gears, machine frame, invar swords, some plastic sheets, books, and a reception coil. And I'm also going to want, let's see where it is. It's not a jukebox. Do, 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 do. There it is. Auto spawner. I need some nether wart, magma cream, another reception coil, machine frame, sheets, and some emeralds. So that should be pretty easy. Another thing I'm going to want is this here cursed earth that I got last time. I didn't show it on camera because it just wouldn't have worked out. I hear someone walking around. Oh, hey, bowling. So let's get started. Okay, let's just make ourselves some flesh. That was really weird. Alright, so let's see here. First thing we're going to want is the auto spawner. There we are. Are you done with those guys? Like, honestly? Are they chasing him? Fight me! That's right. I just question everything he does now. I, I don't even know. Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hat the what the? Yeah, I blame you, quite frankly. Some behind those wall calls and that. Yay! <laughs> Them spawn. I put a seven in there just because I could. Yeah, cool. Put a seven in there. It's so you. I just have that feeling that it's him. Okay, I'm getting so annoyed by that. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, that's so annoying. That's probably really loud. Uh, I do not enjoy this in the slightest. He probably knows I'm recording, just so he can do that. Here, I'll even turn off my magnet magnet for you. Oh, never mind. Alright, let's actually grab a couple of these because we're gonna need them. Okay. These little freaks. They're really gonna bother me. Alright, anyway. Let's see, do we have any plastic left? We do have plastic left. Let's just turn it all in the sheets because you don't really use it for much else. Alright, so throw this in there. Alright, so now we need the auto spawner. Should have everything for this. Nope, need the coil. Coil, hey, look at that, it takes gold. Ah, we'll go figure. Alright, we'll get one of those going. Now we're gonna need ourselves the grinder. The grinder will be used to kill the mobs and collect the essence. So we'll get some. I'm gonna have Anvar. Oh, it's 
spell Ferris. One Ferris. Two iron. Induction smelt. Ooh. Right, I forgot about that sitting in there. Uh, so smart, I'm telling you, I'm so smart. There we go, we got our Inver. Make the sword. Go back to a grinder. I made some tin gears. I love the thermal expansion recipe for gears, it's so much easier. And another one of these, so more gold. And. Nope. We don't have any books. Uh, see, Bowling's been putting them in here. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll be nice and leave half of them for him. Oh, he's gone. Whatever. Now we're going to say bye. Alright, so there we go. We got ourselves the grinder. So, in order for any of this to work, actually, let's cover up that hole. No, uh, we'll just use cobble in there, because I'm not going to use that space for anything right now. I might eventually. Eh, get in there. See, it's, now that he's gone, they stop spawning, so... It's just screaming that it was him. Alright, so we'll get these two things here. They do require power, and they do require uh, liquids. One will make liquids from killing the mobs, which is the grinder, and one uses them to spawn, which is the auto-spawner. So let's head downstairs, but I don't have anything to actually you know what? First let's make some lamps. Cause it's still dark as hell down there. Lamp. 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 Uh how many lamps do we need? I think we just need the one lamp. Oh, I got my Rath igniter. Cause I think I was short one lamp, yep. Alright, now if I reach into my bag of goodies, I'll have one stone brick to use. Really? Really, you're gonna do this to me now? I just did this yesterday. Yeah, that's why I thought. There we go. Here we got some light going. Alright, so I suppose I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna cut out these walls and get them all nice and pretty for you guys. Alright, so we got the basement all cleaned out here. So, what we have to do first is figure out where we want to have our uh, spots for the mob spawners. Now, what I'm thinking is a doorway that's 3x3 three three and then a 5x5x. Five by five by Seven, maybe? Or eight? So let's bore out a hole right here. That's okay. So doorway. One, two, three, four, five. That seems pretty small. In my opinion, like even when we bump it out. That's still a little small for me, so I'm gonna bump it out a little bit more. Let's say. Two, three. Do. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So we'll have it about that size. Considering how there's a possibility of it getting blown up, I don't see why I have to do anything other than stone in here. I'll take the resources for sure, but I don't think we're gonna have to do anything too aesthetic in this room. Come here. Alright, so we've got a good sized room, so what we're going to have to do is replace the floor here. So we'll get our other hammer, smash out some floor, and there we go, cool. So what we're going to have to do first is actually get ourselves some lights. Do we have any fixtures left? I have one fixture. Um, hmm. hmm. Let's look up lamp. Let's see, what kind of light do I want? 
Hmm, I think inside. Um. Mm. Hmm. I kind of want one of these on the outside. So it's like warning, it's it's working. But on the inside, I believe I could do something I could turn off. I don't want to use a, a redstone lamp. That's just that's just too vanilla. Um. Hmm. <laughs> kind of want one with a cage. Let's look up light, maybe. Light. Okay, so that's ramp a lot of stuff. Yeah, not much in the line of actual lights. And then just bring up everything from the twilight, so. Uh, yeah, we'll go with one of these here, but we want to open, so I guess we'll have to do fixture. Actually, let's just go into illumination. There we go. A ton of lights. Uh, let's see here. We'll do 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 Okay, that's like that. It will rock to an inverted. That takes a little bit more glass and a little bit more lumar, but that one there takes some circuits. I believe I've got a good supply of circuits. And if not, they're stupidly easy to get. Like, it's ridiculous. It's really just smelting stone again. So I should have some circuits. I only got six. Um, but I do, 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 do. Yeah, I'll just smelt some of these here. Uh, actually, no, we'll do lamps. We'll do lamps. Do we have any glass left? Alright, we got a good amount of glass left. We'll get a stack of it. And been really laggy today on the server, I don't know why. Alright, so now we're going to have to do lamp. Actually, no, let's get some white lumar. Get a... Actually, no, what do you think about it? We should have enough, so let's just look up lamp. So we'll get one of these white lamps, bowling's back. We'll just get as many lamps as we can. Twelve, that should... I should do actually. Yeah, I should do. All right. All right. So next, we'll get ourselves some wire because I love this stuff. And I might actually get to use some bundled cable this time around. Woohoo! All right. So we'll go downstairs. All right. So we'll have the mob spawning section. Dang it! We'll probably cut off here or something. So like mob spawner, mob spawner, mob spawner, mob spawner. I'm gonna put down the dirt last because that's just the smartest thing to do. Are you kidding me? <sighs> but the server's gonna restart now just when I start doing stuff. Naturally. Alright, so the wall's right here, so. Yep, so he's he's gone already. Let's put it in the bat from here. I'll get as much done as I can for right now. Okay, so we're up here. I wanna go Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Right, we'll go this way. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've got playing room over here, so we'll just put the stone back. And we should probably head off right now. Yep, there it is. Alright, kicked. Server's restarting. Wait for that little message to pop up there. Yep, there it is. So, we'll be back when we are unkicked. Alright, so we're back now. So let's head back up into the wall. So if this is right where it is, we gotta go up here, up here. All right, there's our light. So we'll go back a couple blocks here. There's the our light. 
There we go. See, that fixes the problem I had last time when I was doing wiring with this stuff here. It was uh, unable to be placed because it was on a facade, and the lights wouldn't accept it right on itself, so I like using this stuff here. Alright, now, a little thing I have to test, because I don't know what it does, and I'm sorry, the audio is different. Again, I've been changing my mic a lot. This way, uh, it sounds better, like there's no really bad disturbances, but it just doesn't sound really good because it's always like, mm. so we'll figure out a way to fix that. Hopefully getting my turtle beach soon, which are going to be freaking sweet. I'm really going to like them because my friends got a pair and they worked really well, so. Alright, let's look up here, cover. No, I want stone cover. I got my saw on me. This. Probably just need one. Oh, sugar. Alright, we'll chuck that back away. We don't need this stuff right now. Alright, so we'll cover this up. Yeah, right there. There we go. Perfect. So. Now we got our lights. Alright, so we got that. Step one covered. Now since we have the lights, let's keep them on. And let's actually install our grinders too. Do I want them in the same spots? Because if you ask me, that's pretty darn close together. Let's just put it right in the center of the room. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want right here is good enough. We'll slap one of the grinders, or the grinder, because I only have one right now. Right now I'm just setting up the one. And then we gotta rotate this guy. There we go. So let's pull her back into the wall here. Now there's three things we're gonna need to install with this guy. Item transport, because he takes items liquid transport because he takes up mob essence and power so let's dig out around him here we gotta figure out three places we want to put each of them I'm thinking mm, probably power in the bottom maybe in the top so let's get out our three kinds of pipes Alright, so we'll do items straight out the back. And we'll say... Hmm. You know, I might even do like a mini A system. For this way I don't clog that up. Because I'm going to be spawning every type of mob in here. So... Actually, I'll do that. I'll make a mini A system right here. All the stuff will get pumped into an interface. Or I could even do an import bus on the back of it. Do we have P2P? Oh, we do, we do, we do, we do. Alright, so that's perfect. This guy here can transmit a whole bunch of stuff, but... Actually, now that I think about it, I don't really want to use that. I, I don't know why. I just... I haven't played with it much, so I just feel like it's not, I'm not ready for it. So, uh, to get ready for this, let's get ourselves... Mistake. Uh, let's see, let's look in here. Most of this crap away. Um, hmm. What I'm thinking is, uh... Yeah, alright. No, I'm not out of another court, so don't start freaking out. Alright, um, let's... Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, William, poor bus work on those guys. You know what? Let's just be safe about it. Use interface. So we get ourselves a controller. Actually, before I do that, I should probably uncraft some of these. Alright, now we get ourselves some Fluix stuff, because we kn I know we're going to need some of that. One, two, three, four. There we go. Controller. Should have... No, I don't have one of those diamond ones. Make me three. Furnace, do your thing. Alright, so... Should we be able to make this guy here now? There we go. Beautiful. If I teach my e AE system how to do all that stuff eventually. Alright, so... Next we're gonna need... The drive. I think chest is the only thing I have to make. Oh, we don't have any planks. Yes, we do. Oh, we got a ton of chests. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I don't know how we got so many chests, but just go with it. Alright, we'll make a drive. There we go, it's coming along pretty good. Now I know I have a 1k in here somewhere. Yep. And wait, do I actually want to use this 1k or do I want to make a 4k? Let's go with 4k. No, go in there, you. 4k. Stop. 4k. There we go. So we'll get our 4k. We need one, two, three of these guys. One of these, and one of these. I love AE. So, so amazing. Now I can probably do this with a chest, but I don't care. I don't. I've got the resources to do this kind of stuff. I want, I want to make it nice and fancy. So we'll have the interface here. We'll have this guy here, and then we'll have the drive here. Should probably grab a monitor while I'm at it. I'll just make a regular monitor because I don't believe I'm going to be doing any crafting down there. So I'm going to get the rest of the setup and then I'll be right back. So I got this small setup here. So I've got three grinders in there because the one on the side here was not working alone. So literally anything that walks in here is going to get ripped to shreds all right the mob spawners all hooked up to power and i've got a redstone signal going to him so when he's ready he can take it this here i'm going to hook up to a uh uh tesseract so i can get the mob essence going i got one more tesseract there we go i made like four tesseracts just for this one build i'm gonna have a whole lot more though i've got uh, covers covering up the item ducts and the fluid ducts. There's a whole bunch of them under there. Underneath this guy here is a tesseract, which is receiving the liquids. So it'll be pumped into this when it can. It's also receiving power, so it'll get powered by itself. Uh, I could have branched out and did it off all sides, but I didn't feel like it. That, and I could have done all the item transport and all that crap right from this one tesseract, but. That's just too damn easy, isn't it? So, each of these here are going to work, hopefully. So, we'll slap. Actually, we'll just, yeah, let's just throw our guy in there now. So, we'll take our zombie pig man. We'll throw that in there. We don't need spawn exact copy on because that'll take A, a lot more power, B, a lot more mob essence, and C, a lot more time that I don't have. So, we'll slap our last hardened glass down. We will turn off the lights. There we go. So pretty much you walk in, you get killed. So as you can see, there's an angry zombie in there. He'll get killed any second now. And we got ourselves a creeper. 
There we go. And you can tell we're getting mob essence because those little itty bits of like glowing light, that's the mob essence going through the pipes. Uh, multi parts, they don't cover that completely, so that's why I get that little bit of shine through. Why aren't you dying? Okay, he's definitely dead, but you should be dead too. There we go. I might have some fans. Oh, that'll make this build so much easier. One second, I'll be right back. Alright, this isn't working perfectly. Alright, so I got everything working now. I shortened the room up, and I put fans in here. I knew what I was doing was wrong, but I was just being dumb. So now I've got everything working perfectly. We've got one grinder going. All of it's going into this. We've already got ourselves almost seven buckets of mob essence, which is pretty good. Well, you've got ourselves the A system all set up here. We're going to have to drain out the armor and bows, though. Or we're going to just have them uncrafted, which is perfect, so even more gold. So all I have to do is just sit here. We'll get a whole ton of mobs from these guys. Or I can turn this off. And if I grab a bucket... Oh, wait. No, no buckets in that one. Buckets in the system, though. So we'll break that, steal a bucket of mob essence, chuck her in here, put this back, back up bowling, I'm gonna kick you. Alright, so then we turn this on, and hopefully this should start spawning, yes, there we go, perfect. Yep, no wait, potato comes from regular guys. Hopefully we should start getting ourselves some nuggets. Oh come on, please tell me this works. Don't tell me this doesn't work. Oh come on, don't tell me this does not work. Can't place the block with you. There, move. Move. Oh, server's lagging. Oh, this is gonna be great, because we'll probably be shift Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go, okay. Server caught up. Yes, look at that, see? Nuggets. That is nuggets. Lag, sorry. Alright, that is friggin' perfect. That means we are getting a whole bunch of awesome resources now. We got ourselves some skulls. Got a whole bunch of rotten flesh. And food we're getting out of here. Spider eyes. Even iron. But most importantly, golden nuggets. And golden armor. So, this is running pretty damn good. We'll turn that one off. And we'll turn this back on. So this here can keep running. Should actually grab a couple signs. Look at that, two per signs, perfect. We'll make this one lights. And this one here. Spawner. There we go, perfect. This thing here's got a really good retention for power, so we can just sit here. This thing can be running like all the time if I had a chunk loaded. I can only have three spot loaders though. Why did I just get a bow? Here. I don't even want your damn bow. Yeah, here. Alright, so there we go. That's our gold production, guys. So, this here's pretty good. I think we'll call this episode Gold Production and Mob Gold and mob production. So we've got ourselves a good amount of everything being created in here. A whole bunch of rotten flesh, a whole bunch of gunpowder, plenty of string and bones and arrows. Like, I needed string really bad. What are you doing?
No, 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 get out! Idiot! See, even Fence doesn't blame me. Thank you. So anyway, we'll turn this back off. <sighs> there we go. That really freaked me out, because the second I saw that creeper char charging, I was like, oh god. It's actually really loud. We should probably turn down the sounds a little bit. Right there, 50 sounds good. Well, anyway, I suppose... That's good enough for now, so thank you guys for watching. I don't know how long this episode was, so please don't start raging at me for it. Uh, actually, before we go, let's go and check on the lava. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Must have ran out of lava in the pool we were draining. Yeah, but that's alright. What's there for? So, we'll grab our other barrel. We'll put that down at the refueling station. I actually love drums. They're so much cheaper than tanks. Like, full-blown railcraft multi-block tanks. I might make one later, but... Right now, I'm sticking with drums. Okay. Hello. Hello. How did you get up here? F7. There should be no places for you to spawn. God, that is a killer on the frames. F7 off. Alright. Well, quite frankly, I don't know where any of them are. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Raywin. Frames are still killing me. I don't know why. Probably I didn't turn F7 off somehow. I don't know. I thought I did. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please follow me on Twitter, at Raven70, with a capital R. If you want to keep getting a whole bunch of adventurers with me, hit that subscribe button so you can get that update when I post a new video or anything really. Like it if you really enjoyed the video, and comment so you can get your word, and make sure you share it with your friends. So I get to see the awesomeness that I've got here on the channel. By the way, we're hitting almost 100 views total. I know it sounds like nothing. It really is nothing. But to me, that's an accomplishment. Because this is uh, what I try for. So I, I feel like I'm doing pretty good with it. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.